Hello, Anton from the West Ham Network, back again, back again to discuss a player that plays for West Ham, a captain of West Ham, who's a European champion, who's rumoured to believe in the club, and I'm talking about another potential replacement coming in the door. Yes, you have heard me right, a potential another replacement for Declan Rice, and it's a bit of an unorthodox one to be quite honest with you, because it's emerged that West Ham are in the race to try and sign Robin Koch from Leeds United. The German centre-back is viewed as a potential replacement. Yes, you heard me right. A replacement for Declan Rice should he leave the club. Now, Leeds are expected to lose a number of their senior players following relegation from the Premier League as they embark on their first championship campaign since the 2019-2020 season. And Koch is one of those um, who is looking to continue his time in the top flight and boost his prospects of featuring for his country in the 2024 European Championships. Now, listen, why and who is interested in Koch? At Leeds. Over the last week, it's been reported that both Manchester United and Tottenham have held talks with the 26 year old. He's got a lot of admirers from clubs like Brentford, Nottingham Forest, and Newcastle United. Frankfurt, Eintracht Frankfurt, are also interested, as well as West Ham, apparently. Somewhat surprisingly, the centre back has been discussed as a midfield option for West Ham and someone that could potentially replace Declan Rice who is extremely well sought of this summer. And at West Ham, he's been discussed as a possible Declan Rice successor. Koch, who has played as a central midfielder for Leeds before, most notably under Mar- um, Marcelo Bielsa as a replacement for Calvin Phillips. He also played in that position in three of Leeds' four games under Sam Allardyce at the end of the last campaign. While West Ham do hold an interest, it is rumoured to be saying that he is keen to move back to Germany and he is looking potentially to make that move as much an easy process as he possibly can. Now, Koch has got 12 months left on his deal at Leeds and there's definitely no real chance that that, that can be extended with Leeds United because they're just seems to be no desire for him to play in the championship with plenty of clubs interested in it. Now, could he be a good replacement for Declan Rice? Whilst we have may see, maybe have seen him in the Premier League and do an okay role in a makeshift holding midfield role, he is very limited and it would be a huge ask for him to replace one of the best midfielders Yes, I'm going to say it, one of the best midfielders in the world. Declan Rice has proven to be something of a beast, an absolute machine in the middle of the park. And with him potentially leaving West Ham this summer, he's going to have to be replaced with a player that's maybe more traditional in a central midfielder role. So what does Koch offer? What is he um, potentially good at? Now, he can play in central midfield and is comfortable operating in higher areas. And he does look to pick out passes from deeper areas inside the opposition half. And and he's done that on many occasions. He generally plays as a ball-playing centre-back. But it's easy to think of this type of player as your kind of laid-back Rolls-Royce type of defender. And he definitely has some of these qualities. But when out of possession, he shows real intensity and desire to win the ball back as quickly as possible. And when playing further forward, he doesn't have the quite the same positional discipline as a centre-back, but he adds good energy to the press in the middle of the park as well. And despite that being his biggest strength as a player, is his it's his ability on the ball. He is a clever, clever footballer on the ball, specifically with his passing. As good as he is dictating the play from the back, it naturally makes sense to have a player with such passing ability to operate a little bit higher. And depending on the pace of the game, Koch will put into central midfield positions, even when playing as a centre-back. He's naturally attack-minded. So that's a positive to think of. Uh, he's comfortable pushing even further forward too. So that is maybe some things as to why maybe you could see West Ham 
been linked to him. And regardless of how far forward he does go, he doesn't neglect his defensive duties and consistently shows good stamina and excellent, excellent desire, proper desire to get back and take his good defensive position um, and try his best to make a tackle on the ball. Now, in possession, he's incredibly composed on the ball and he's a very, very good passer, good distribution. He's got excellent range and he is both fitted. He can play the ball with his left and play the ball with his right. However, some difficult forward passes, he'll generally use his right foot most. And during build-up play, you often see Koch as the anchor for Leeds, the guy that sits back, looks for the pass and picks out a perfect pass. He does have a very, very good pass as well on the field. And to be honest with you, it's not the most flamboyant name. It's not the most interesting name. It's not the most exciting name to potentially replace Declan Rice. But it's interesting because he covers two positions and he's extremely comfortable on the ball and he's got a desire to win the ball back. And that is probably something that David Moyes will be looking for. I don't think it's the most simple of signings. It's not probably the one that excites us West Ham fans the most, but maybe it's something that fits the piece of the jigsaw. If you rewind back to when we were black and when we brought Tommy Suchek in and that piece of the jigsaw clicked and worked for West Ham, we progressed moving forward, then it might be work. But one of his good and best talents is he's got a very good long distance passing range which is of the highest level it's not just his ability to pick out players with long diagonal passes to the opposite flank but the speed at which he sees these opportunities and really is there any hesitation as he goes to play these passes and if there is one it often is a change to a different option and a different angle at the last moment he is clever clever footballer now, why does he play as a centre-back for Leeds more than a centre-midfielder? Because he is a natural-born centre-back. Declan Rice was a natural-born centre-back. Um, so there are some pros. There are some pros to him. So it would be a really good addition for a club to go and sign him, but would he be a Declan Rice replacement? You've got to be talking next level, but he is on the radar of the German national team. And that is something that is you know, not to be sniffed at. Um, his passing ability, his long-range passing ability, his desire to win the ball back, his positioning, he could make a very good squad player for not a lot of money. Now, I am not saying he's the man coming into the club. If West Ham are looking at him, do I think he is a Declan Rice replacement? Absolutely not. Do I think he can add value to our squad? Absolutely. So, it's worth a punt. It just depends on how much money they'd be looking for him. I hope you've enjoyed that short, sweet Koch Leeds West Ham. What do you think? Let us know. Put it in the comments. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, hit the join option on the membership. Please hit your thumbs up as well. Leave a comment. Give us your honest feedback. Been a joy to bring this content to you. And we'll see you tomorrow for some more. Come on, you